Jesus made you turn to ground control I'm stepping through the door Sorry about the bumpy ride, folks, but uh, there was no choice but to put you on top of my pack. Okay, so this is the Turk video review for the Vibram Five Fingers shoes. So these are my absolute favorite tripping shoes. Fully articulated toes and a really, really cool Vibram sole. Mine are both wet and muddy, as they should be. Walking around in these things is just like going barefoot. Absolutely love them. This style here is the KSO. It's got a mesh top to it. Uh, uses a single strap. Uh, that wraps all the way around the ankle there and uh, locks your foot in place quite nicely. Uh, sizing on these guys is a little bit weird. Uh, you've got to measure your foot carefully from heel to big toe, but uh, sized properly, these things are really, really awesome to wear. If you uh, look at the sole pride back here, they've got this unique uh, slitting that's a lot like, uh, I guess, snakeskin and uh, pretty comfortable and confident when you're scrambling over boulders or uh, like me and you're trying to tow your raft in in the middle of a rapid. These guys typically go for uh, about 60 to $70 on eBay. A uh, little bit pricey for what they are. Uh, conversely, you can buy these directly from the website uh, vibram5fingers.com. Uh, one of the biggest problems uh, with this area of Ontario is the water. Uh, water is really not 100% safe to be drinking. There's a lot of agricultural runoff. There's, there's a lot of shit in the water. Um, I've got a bottle and package everything I bring, so it just adds enormous weight to my travels. Part of why the reason that uh, I'm going through the efforts now and putting these caches in place and marking them on my GPS so that I can come back to them at a later date and uh, hopefully my stuff will be there. So in gear reviews today we're going to be checking out the Jaxar Better Hemicut. This is the smaller of the two that I now have. Just got this out of the mail. Much thanks to the jacks. So I haven't used this yet before. Uh, this is actually my first time taking it out other than to throw on some tie outs. So I'm going to get this laid out and uh, we'll go through the process together. So I've got my ridge line slung up here and I'm going to show you just quickly here. A uh, little gizmo I just picked up. Uh, these are the small figure nines uh, with the carabiner attached. And all I've done is loop that through uh, the tent itself, gone around the tree, and one, two wraps. That's all you need. Pretty sweet, pretty easy to uh, adjust, set the tension on. Uh, it's one of those things you either like them or hate them. Some guys love gizmos. The uh, purists will uh, tell you uh, nothing beats a good knot, but uh, I for one like new gadgets and gizmos that uh, save time and uh, for what they weigh, pretty cool little product. Okay, so I've uh, staked out my four corners. I've uh, run my two side tie outs uh, that run in the center. And uh, as you can see here, it's uh, not looking too bad. There's uh, a few lines and wrinkles. Um, if I were to use these extra tie outs, I could uh, really pull this tarp a little bit tighter. But uh, hey, in real life, people don't make picture perfect tarps. Uh, it's been a long day for me, too, and uh, I'm looking up at the sky. This is good enough. 
There she is. I've got uh, both my beaks out. And on the slope side of my site here, take you around. I've uh, done away with the center tie out and just staked directly to the ground. And that's uh, cut a little bit of my interior space off, but it's uh, pulled my tarp nice and tight as it does look like I've got a little bit of rain that's gonna come in. Let's go inside. So my bed for tonight is an Eagle Nest Outfitters single hammock. And uh, that's just your typical parachute silk hammock. Uh, there's a million different makes of these. Uh, you can find easily on eBay or other sites around the web. Uh, the under quilt I'm using is a Jaxar Better Rocky Mountain No Sniveler. Uh, nice for this time of year when uh, I'm looking at temperatures probably getting close to zero. Sleeping bag uh, is my favorite. It's a Feathered Friends uh, Rock Wren. I had mine uh, custom made with a full, a full length zipper. And uh, this can turn into a top quilt or an under quilt. And it's also got zippered armholes that make it wearable. Awesome bag. If it gets much colder, you'll probably see me wearing that tonight. So this is the interior of the tent. It's uh, nice and spacious for one hammock. I'm uh, sure in the coming weeks of testing, I will figure out a way to put two people in this. But uh, first impressions, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the weight, can't argue with that, at uh, I think one pound, 12 ounces or so. Um, I'm definitely digging the dark green. It's uh, a little more subdued than uh, say the underquilt material. Definitely liking that. Just taking a little break here, chilling, relaxing. <clears throat> Can't get over the day. It's pretty awesome. There's really uh, nowhere else I'd want to be right now. Uh, I can tell you what I'm not thinking about, and that's work. River's uh, picking up some speed here. Got a couple of uh, little rapids on this section that are nice. I may uh, lose you at points here as I attempt to navigate. They turn absolutely effortlessly. This is the beauty of pack rafting right here. The sheer versatility, maneuverability of these little boats. Um, something like even this, I probably wouldn't be able to film for more than five seconds at a time if I was in a regular sit-inside kayak. Um, these little boats, they just uh, work so well for this kind of a trip. 